Welcome everyone. Today I'm very excited because I have my friend Emma Perez with me who is an expert in preparing parents, families for the college situation. <laughs> I got to work with Emma a long time ago. We met each other because you reached out. I was on a summit that you put together of different parenting experts. And then we did a brain map for your family yes. years back, which was so much fun. I'm Emma B. Perez. I created Life Quest, which is a program designed specifically for teens and young adults that takes them through career exploration and purpose development. Um, what makes it unique, there are two things that make it unique. The first one is that it really takes into consideration the changes that we're seeing in the job landscape, how quickly everything is changing, how there are many ways for people to make money. Now a job is just one type of income stream out of eight. Um, and so it takes all of that into consideration. And also it's gamified as well, which is not only a great technique for, for learning, but it's also engaging and, and young people really enjoy it. So I've been for the past couple of years providing lots of resources to parents about kind of getting through the process of helping your teen figure out what they want to do and what the right educational path is based on that and working directly with young people who are either college bound or undecided about the education that they want to pursue but particularly since 2020 working with young people who have left college after a semester or a couple because um, perhaps what they chose to major in wasn't quite right and they needed a little bit more time to make that decision before they committed you know five figures to another major. I love what you do so much Emma because it is such a thing that there are some kids out there that are just their favorite place is not the classroom. Mm -hmm, <laughs> and yeah. um, in episode two of my podcast, I talk about nature versus nurture and the four people patterns and the lion people pattern learns best from life. And so a lot of times they want to just be plopped into um, an area where they're passionate and learn from that and or maybe they want to go watch someone they want to shadow someone and going to college is not necessarily for them and it's difficult because sometimes parents have this these blinders on you know these this lens of well I went to college and this is just what you do next and that doesn't serve every every child and um I'm really curious about a couple of things you said uh, for one, you said there are eight uh, streams of income. So what what are those? That's so interesting other than a job. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can pull them off of the top of my head. So <laughs> your job is earned income, exchanging time for money. It is So it's the most time consuming. But we also have things that we're familiar with like capital gains, profit, um, you know, rental. There's uh residuals royalty Got you. okay things like that and so um it's good for young people to to understand these because a lot of times at this age range it's just what job are you going to get what job are you going to get and yes we're seeing a change towards gig economy more freelancing and so having a conversation about different ways to bring in income and maybe more entrepreneurial like entrepreneurial like <laughs> I could get yeah, that out. That's, that's what this lion type is is designed for. They mm -hmm. are very, very good at just, you know, reading a situation, figuring out what is what's needed, and then creating it. They're super creative. And and same with the eagle type. They don't do well. Mm -hmm. Um, the the P, the perceiver, uh convertible eagles. I say their perceivers are driving a convertible through life. The convertible eagles, especially, and humans like yourself and myself actually are very entrepreneurial as well, very creative. I would say the job types that like a traditional standard job is the ox type. And, um, but the other three entrepreneurial and all those other streams are, are super, that's super valuable to go over that. And I loved what you said too about gamifying what uh tell me a little bit about that that's ingenious because thank you yeah that's what this type really needs 
Yeah, so there's a couple of ways um, in which I gamify the program. The first one is using gaming analogy and explaining some of the concepts. So for example, if I were talking to a young person to explain what LifeQuest is, I would say, imagine that life is a massive multiplayer offline role-playing game, because it is, and we get to go on our own journey that doesn't look like anybody else's. It's our main quest, right? So my program is the side quest that you do first to create your character, build your world, and to design what your main quest is going to be. And along the way, you'll acquire skills and tools that you need to be successful on your journey. So it's analogy like that, but also I bring in gamification into the delivery of it as well. We have levels and missions, and they can unlock achievements and things like that as well. Wow. Can I, can I do it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah. That sounds, sounds amazing. So tell me kind of who your typical person is that comes to you and that needs help and how do you help them? Oh gosh. Well, 15 to 25, which oh. I know is how, like, how is that typical? <laughs> Cause there's such a range there. There are some 15, 15 year olds that are not ready to work with me. And there are others that are, right? Um, and then there are young people in their 20s that have dropped out of college because um, for some of the reasons that I talked about before, and they don't want to waste uh, the time that they have. They've dropped out and they go, now what? Because they don't have a school counselor anymore. Um, and so where do they go from here? And they, they need help kind of making a decision about where to go. When young people are approaching this transition, this huge transition in their life, there are two main ways that I've seen them respond to this. The first one is with avoidance. I don't want to talk about it. So the parents go, what do you want to do? What do you think you want to do for work? Where, where do you think you want to go for school? And they go, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And so they seem very unmotivated, right? Mm -hmm. And then the other way is with over preparation. So I'm going to research all the schools and I'm going to research all the degrees. And then they get stuck with, oh my gosh, which one do I pick? Because I have so many to choose from and I can't make the wrong decision. And really they both have the same problem. They, they need just resources and tools to help them make that decision. And the people in their lives that love them, their parents, their teachers, their counselors want to make suggestions based on how they know them, which is great. But young people also want the agency to make that decision for themselves and then be able to come to you and say, okay, I'm considering these two options, or I've made my decision, or I'm considering these three options. And so my program gives them the tools to make that decision. So sometimes young people come to me very apprehensive and they're like, oh, I don't want anyone to tell me what to do. And um, the, they seem unmotivated, but they really just need the tools. And then some young people work with me that are super, you know, ambitious and they're like, yes, I love this program. Let's go. Let's do it. I want to do my vision board. So it's, it's really a variety of, of young people. And we were talking a little bit about some of those other options other mm -hmm. than college. Can you talk about that? Yes. I know it can sound um, a little well, some parents can be a little nervous about talking about other options because kind of like what you said before, there's this perceived best path of you go to high school, you go to college, and then you get a job that pays really well. And if you want any kind of financial security, you're going to make sure that you have that college degree. And in some occupational paths, that is absolutely true, but it is a different world now. It is a different, you know, the, the job landscape looks different. The economy is different. Um, there, technology is changing so quickly that there will be jobs available to our teens when they graduate college that don't exist when they graduate from high school. Okay. Um, so that one path is right in some instances with some, like you said, with some personality types and with some occupational paths, but there are others as well. And so with my, uh, for example, with my college alternative crash course, we talk about what those are. I, I go ahead and go into the difference between a community college, a college and a university, because that's not always generally known. It's kind of gray areas between them. I talk about 
you know, what's a technical college? What's a vocational program? We talk about apprenticeships, which you get paid to learn instead of paying to learn, <laughs> which most people don't realize that's out there. And it's very hands-on learning. We talk about experiential learning, which I think would probably be really appreciated by a lion and maybe an eagle as well. Um, and there are lots of different ways to seek out experiential learning. Um, and then there are also lots of ways to kind of explore and, and figure out what you want to do before you commit to one of these paths. But sometimes you have it an option depending on what you want to do. And sometimes you don't like this is this is the path. So if you are entrepreneurial, yes, there are university ways to go, but there are also other programs that that you can do to develop your business idea or your product idea or your service idea. That's so great to know. You probably, you could have saved some parent out there thousands and thousands of dollars by, by saying that and by having them take this college crash, crash, crash course. Yeah, <laughs> um, would you think that's, is that the first step? If somebody wants to work with you, is that the, the first step they would take? You can. Um, I have a few resources. I've got some free webinars for parents. I have that. I, I also have um, a, a little mini course about gap years, which by the way, don't have to just be time off, right? Mm -hmm. There's lots of things that can happen that year to make it an extra bonus year with transformation. Um, or you can just reach out to me. You can always reach out and schedule a consultation. It's free. If they have committed to taking some time off and want to make the most of that time, this is the perfect time to reach out to me. Mm -hmm. uh, if your child is a rising junior or senior, this is the perfect time to reach out to me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So not necessarily someone who's graduated, but mm -hmm. um, yeah. If they're about to be a junior or about to be a senior. Um, and I think a lot of people would say, well, yeah, if they're about to be a senior, of course, the rising junior might surprise folks, but sometimes the college, if you're doing the traditional university route, sometimes the college process can start in junior year. And so being prepared for that is, is helpful. Um, and then if you have an ambitious sophomore, then I, I've worked with sophomores that that are uh, even though they're on the younger side they're still it's still a good program for them if they've known what they've wanted since they were five <laughs> I, well, potentially I or just that they know like maybe they don't know what they want to do but they're they're open to coaching and doing programs and um I, particularly if they are kind of an entrepreneurial mindset go-getter, but maybe they haven't figured out that one thing yet. Mm -hmm. It could be good for them too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I mean is just that determined child, that determined ox type who they are telling their parents what to do, or that determined mm -hmm. eagle type, um, mm -hmm. that they're just very self-driven. They're very um, intrinsically motivated versus mm -hmm extrinsically mm -hmm. yeah but Which the kids that that need that extra accountability you know working one-on-one -on -one with me definitely provides that yes. um but I would still recommend working with them when they're a little bit older maybe past the sophomore year mm -hmm. yeah because then they they see they see it coming it's it's a reality for them mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. Um, anything else you would like to share for parents that are listening that have kids this age, any advice that you would give to them? I would say if your child needs a little bit more time to decide, don't be alarmed by that. And don't feel, um, you know, I, I've had some parents say, well, if you don't go right away, you're never going to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not necessarily the case. Right. And it could be that university is not quite the right place for them based on either their personality type or the best learning environment for them or what it is that they ultimately choose to do. Right. Um, and if a child is hesitant and they get pushed into university, 
I can almost guarantee that they will drop out at some point, right? Um, and university is just so expensive right now, you know? So mm -hmm. giving them a little bit more time, I think some of the fear in that comes from thinking that the child is going to do nothing. But there are things that someone can do, ways that they can spend their time. Uh, even if it's not working with me, there are other things that they can do that will be experiential learning, that will be engaging for them, that will give them a break from the classroom environment, that will give them more experiences to explore who they are and what they like to do that could potentially lead to scholarship opportunities at a school or that can potentially lead to future um, apprenticeships or jobs. So there are ways to spend that time to give uh, your child a little bit more time to figure out who they are and, and which direction they want to go in. I have an amazing story of, um, I was at this conference and I had a conversation with a gentleman who was, I, I, I analyze everyone that I meet, you know, I'm doing it in my head. I'm doing my personality gymnastics in my head. And I figured out that he was a lion type, a thinking lion, like you have your little, your little guy. Yeah. Um, and he did not take school. And I know this is not your little guy, but this particular lion did not take school seriously at all because lions are in the moment. And so it's not the moment of his life yet. He's still in school. He's still just having fun. He doesn't have to take it seriously. And the minute he graduated, then he was like, dang, okay, now I have to take it seriously, but it's too late because I didn't study and I did terrible. And so his parents had him shadow a um, sports medicine doctor. And because he's this tactile lion type and strategic, he and likes to know how the inner workings of things. He's he looked at that and he said, I can do that. I know I can do that. That makes total sense to me. And all of a sudden the switch was turned and he decided that's the big decision or that's the big, you know, uh, changing factor is he decided rather than his parents, this is what I want to do. All of a sudden he became a study from 6 a.m till midnight, no partying kind of guy. And he became a surgeon and the switch was just turned because he decided. And there are some personality types that, and parents are nodding their heads out there. You cannot decide for them. They have to decide for themselves. And sometimes the only way they can do that is by crashing and burning a few times, by learning from life, by getting out there and shadowing or trying something and you know and then they'll realize this is what I want to do and that could end up at university or it could end up on a different path I I've had parents say that they they did ultimately appreciate that they were able to give a resource to their teen so that their teen had the agency to make these decisions themselves and then come back and the parent can just join the team and help make their dream happen right? Rather than dealing with yeah. the conversation of what about this? I don't want to hear it from you, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and there, I are, also there are those types that need agency, yep. that need independence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, exactly. I've had parents say that they appreciate how holistic the program is because we really talk about, before we even get to occupations, we talk about who are you as a person and what do you want in your life? What are your values? What are your priorities? What are your financial needs likely to be? So there is some financial education. And then we find the occupations that fit all of that. And then you find the right educational path. So they appreciate uh, that because in their communities, they had a hard time finding um, that kind of approach, right? It was just all focused on college admittance, which obviously if you're going to college, yes, please help me with that, you know? Um, so they appreciated the the holistic approach. Um, and then for the for young people, you know, um, they just appreciate the having the tools and the resources. You know, this this idea of the floundering youth that doesn't know what they want to do is so pervasive. It's a trope, right? We see it in movies and TV and you know, books and things like that. Um, but they even though they're at a developmental stage where they're finding their identity separate from their family, so it's the right stage of life for that, it doesn't have to be done just drifting in the wind. 
they can have resources and support to help them through the process. Wonderful. So Emma, tell everyone how they can find you and all your wonderful resources. Sure, you can visit emmabperez.com. There are free resources. There's a resource tab and there are free resources for parents. There's a few free re resources for teens. You'll also see um, the programs that I have for teens there. Um, you'll see all kinds of things there. And I am also beginning to license the program to organizations and institutions. So visiting lifequestconsulting.ca if there is any school or tutoring center that would like to talk to me about using um, my curriculum. Thank you so much, Emma. Fantastic conversation. And reach out to Emma if you have a sophomore, junior, senior, or beyond. Thank you for having me, Wendy.